Yes, we're in the midst of this coronavirus emergency still in the country. In the last 24 hours, get this, the United States reporting more than 51,000 new cases, more than 1,400 new deaths. The daily death toll increasing in at least 32 states, and that includes Texas. That's right. The situation is dire in Texas right now. That state is fast approaching half a million cases, and in many hospitals in communities near the border, they are stretched to the limit. Marcus Moore is live at a convention center in McAllen that's now being transformed into a field hospital. Good morning, Marcus. Uh, Amy, good morning. Dozens of people are recovering from COVID-19 in that field hospital just behind me. It can hold up to 250 people. This morning, health officials are racing to respond to a growing crisis along the border. This morning, COVID-19 ravaging the U.S.-Mexico border and threatening the traditional return to school across the nation. And there is nothing normal about what's happening at this hospital in the Rio Grande Valley. Roughly half the beds here are for coronavirus patients, including in the delivery ward. Let me send it, let's see, look at them again. They showed them to me and right away they took him. This new mom has only seen her baby through her smartphone since delivery. It's not a good feeling at all, especially for me that I'm being a first time mom. And in Oasis County, Texas, officials saying the number of babies testing positive for COVID has doubled in the past two weeks. Nearby in Rio Grande City, Star County Memorial is almost at capacity, transferring patients out as far as 700 miles away. And heartache stretches just as far in these border communities. It feels like a dream. Pastor Daniel Caballero lost four relatives to COVID-19 in just two weeks, including Sarah, his wife of nearly 49 years. She spent 21 days in the hospital before passing away, her family not allowed to be by her side in those final moments. I could give a hundred times my life for her. Easy, with no doubt. It's how much I love my wife. Tell him, yeah. it's very it's real. Very real. Yeah, I and got the feeling right there, it's real. You gotta take your precautions. The situation is so dire in the region, a field hospital has finally been set up at the convention center in McAllen, visiting doctors, also answering an urgent plea for help. But doctors across the country also having to deal with an anti-science sentiment among so many Americans. Dr. Anthony Fauci discussing death threats against his family in this Harvard Medical School live stream. I wouldn't have imagined in my wildest dreams that people who object to things that are pure public health principles are so set against it and don't like what you and I say, namely in the word of science, that they actually threaten you. In California, the mayor of Los Angeles threatening to cut water and power to any homes or businesses hosting large gatherings in violation of health orders. But just hours after that stern warning, this crowded wedding party kicked off in one of the city's wealthiest neighborhoods. Large groups of guests dancing and partying up close, most not wearing masks. These large house parties have essentially become nightclubs in the hills. And beyond the noise, the traffic, and nuisance, these large parties are unsafe. In the race to find a vaccine, the U.S. government announcing a $1 billion investment in pharma giant Johnson & Johnson. That's for 100 million doses of a vaccine for clinical trials. And, TJ, that is hope that can't come soon enough. All right, Marcus, hope, the good word right now. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.